everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Glad you could join us as always. The late Edna Moel has been recognized with a school being renamed in her honor. The Northside Primary School is now the Edna M. Moel Primary School. Minister of Education, the Honorable Tara Rivers, and Premier, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin, led the official ceremony where friends and family of Ms. Moel gathered at the school on Tuesday evening. Premier McLaughlin spoke fondly of Ms. Moel, saying the name change was fitting because she had done much for the education of children, not only in Northside, but throughout the Cayman Islands. Everyone who attended were treated to songs from the school's infant and junior choirs, while her son, Edward Chisholm, spoke. Mrs. Moel was a Northside District MLA, a government minister, founding member of the PPM, and Speaker of the House. She passed away in May of 2013. In other news, it was the first ever Battle of the Books in the Cayman Islands on Saturday. 55 students from St. Ignatius and Cayman International Schools took part in the event held at the Georgetown Library. The idea, which is based on an American reading incentive program, is to have the students read 20 to 30 books, all in preparation for a final battle of questions. In the end, St. Ignatius grabbed the winning trophy in both age groups. The neurotic nerds won the 5th to 6th grade category, while the Cadbury cran craniums finished at the top of the 7th to 8th grade competition. Battle of the Books allows students to collaborate, mingle, and read more. Well, the hurricane season is just, just days away and it starts on June 1st and hazard management officials have continued their efforts to remind residents about the importance of being prepared. Since the start of May, residents have been given information at locations across the island, including Kirk's Home Center last Saturday morning. Now, five lucky residents who get uh, the disaster awareness information are also eligible to win a preparedness kit on June the 2nd. The government department says they've been able to engage thousands of residents about preparedness issues over the years. Well, coming up, we have more highlights of the Deputy Governor's 5K Challenge on Saturday for you. But first, remember to turn your radios to Radio Cayman's Talk Today show. That's weekdays from 1215 with host Sterling Duane Ebanks. And don't forget, you can watch the CIG TV News update rebroadcast throughout the night right here on CIG TV or go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page or to our YouTube channel. I'm Donna Bush. As always, thanks for watching the CIG TV News Update. Have a great night. Join us here again on Thursday evening. We'll leave you now with a look at the DG's 5K Challenge. saying that I was set up, I'm not saying that I wasn't, but you all have seen the videos, and that's all I have to say about this, but I'll get him on the next one. Nice.